Hello and welcome my Pisces friends. This is Jennifer from Mystic Star. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching this video. This is going to be a group reading for October's Mercury Retrograde for my Pisces friends. I don't know about you guys but I feel like we just exited a Mercury Retrograde and here we are entering into a new one. I'm not really going to go into depth into what Mercury Retrograde is. There's a lot of great websites out there that explain the scientific phenomenon behind Mercury Retrograde or explain all those impact, um, effects that are going to happen through Mercury, Mercury Retrograde. What this video is about is to look at how Mercury Retrograde is going to impact my Pisces friends and what they can do to overcome those challenges. What tools, um, me or coping mechanisms can help them overcome it. We cannot control how Mercury Retrograde impacts or affects us. However, we can control how we respond and what coping strategies we put in place to overcome that. The deck I chose for this reading is Tarot de la Nuit, or the Tarot of the Night, and I'll be ending off the session with an oracle blessing from the Oracle of the Shapeshifters. Like always, there's links below to both these fantastic decks, so should they speak to you, you can go check them out for yourselves. All right, my Pisces friends, let's see what the cards have to say. What card represents Mercury Retrograde I got a jumper for my Pisces friends. I got another jumper. Okay, so we have two. The first one is the Hanged Man. The Hanged Man is the 12th card in the Major Arcana. And it talks about letting go. And it talks about trusting in the universal message and wisdom. That's going to be feel really hard over the next three weeks. There's going to be a lot of disruption in your connection to the universe and you're going to kind of feel a little bit isolated and really kind of hung out to dry. It's not the, the what's happened, it's just how you're going to feel. With it, it came the, the Four of Swords. Fours are a foundational number. Swords are about truth and knowledge. You're going to find that because that not only do we have that chaotic kind of mercury retrograde communication problems we're also going to find that things are not going to make as much sense and you're not going to find as much fulfillment and rest out of the knowledge that you're going to be receiving because not only is it going to be limited it's also going to be confusing due to mercury retrograde you're going to find it very disheartening and kind of almost almost like an anxiety provoking information. Whereas this Four of Swords is more of a rest and rejuvenation card, it kind of really puts it on it, its, its head where we're looking at the Four of Swords not being as supportive and stable and restful as we have hoped for. All right, let's break this down into the weeks. What can my Pisces friends expect during the first week of Mercury Retrograde? We have a jumper. It's the two of cups. Twos are about duality and choice. Cups about emotion and intuition. The two of cups is known as the lesser lovers. You're going to find that your relationships all across the board are really going to be impacted. Not only because of the communication disruption from Mercury retrograde, you're going to feel very uneasy and unstable and disconnected so that these three weeks are going to really be kind of hard for you to make a lot of decisions and that you're going to feel really ambivalent about a lot. Making major relationship decisions in the next three weeks is not really advised. See if you can hold off. You don't need to end or add relationships. Keep things on a lighter level so that you're not making major situational changes that you're going to possibly regret after Mercury Retrograde. All right, let's look at the second week. What does the second week of Mercury Retrograde hold for my Pisces friends? It's the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is known as a family card. Tens are an ending and a beginning card. The Ten of Cups uh, in the original Rider Waite, Pamela Coleman Smith had, has drawn it with a rainbow and ten arch cups with a family dancing below. 
again we're looking at this relationship piece following through to the next week not only is it going to impact your relationships and friendships it starts to impact some of the family support that you have mercury retrograde will be causing problems in the second week with that communication piece those miscommunications misunderstandings will really come to a height on the second week in well actually i think it's the yeah i think it's the second week in november mercury retrograde runs till i think the 20th of november so it really will impact th this time you have with your family so that middle part will be really hard on that, that your communication and relationships so look at that final week in mercury retrograde how will that impact my pisces friends We have the tenth card in the major arcana, the wheel, or the wheel of fortune. Things are shifting. As you come out of the wheel of fortune, you're going, or sorry, out of Mercury retrograde, you're going to find that the wheel of fortune has shifted things ever so slightly for you. As the seasons have turned, so will the time. The tides turn at the end of Mercury retrograde. The wheel of fortune is going to help you really reconnect into the hangman on new and exciting ways. Throughout this week, or three weeks, I'm not going to have you stop working with the universe. I want you to continue working with the universe. These three weeks are going to give you strategies on to really how to connect when you feel disconnected and kind of isolated. I know that because that's what my, my posse is telling me. So let's look at these strategies. What is going to help my Pisces friends overcome the Two of Cups? and this, the challenge is brought on by Mercury Retrograde. Made a jumper of the Page of Swords. Pages are that childlike energy. Swords are all about truth and knowledge. This is not weeks, three weeks, or give or take a little over three weeks, a time to work from your heart. You need to be critically thinking and using that knowledge piece. That's going to help move you forward. Additionally, the page is all about that inquisical, playful energy. And you need that to go through because those emotions are going to be running rampant. You need some play and fun to kind of balance out all these emotional roller coaster yin yang -y feelings you're having. All right, let's look at what supports will help my Pisces friends overcome the second week of Mercury retrograde. And that's the Seven of Cups. I said to you guys earlier in this video that I'm going to have you and want you to still try and connect in. You may feel disconnected from the universe. However, the universe is listening to you. Your spiritual posse is still hearing you. They are not being impacted by this communication. The Seven of Cups is known as the Seven Deadly Sins or an Illusion card. I want you to try unique and interesting ways and ways that you've never thought of or you thought, oh, well, that was nuts. Why would anybody try and connect that way? Try alternative and creative ways in connecting in with the universe, connecting in with your guides, your guardians, whoever that higher vibrational posse is and whoever it contains. Try different and unique ways to connect in because like I said you're going to gain some really fantastic coping strategies that not only will help you with you connecting in with your intuition and your posse but will help you down the road as you enter into new challenges and obstacles all right let's look at the third week what can my Pisces friends do Whoop, got a I love it when they hit the floor. To overcome the challenges brought on by the third and final week of Mercury Retrograde. That's the Knight of Wands. Knights are that adolescent, no fear, gung ho energy, and you need that. That not being afraid to tackle, not only the third week, but the entire 
situation and wands are that inner fire that strength that we have within ourselves that passion taking those passions of that fire and really igniting this line of supports will help taking in the fire and the, the bravery of the night into your playful and quizzical mind into and taking both of them into the seven of cups to try and find alternative ways to connect in to find those answers to find that rest and rejuvenation that's what's going to help you through mercury retrograde let's look at that final support what is the final support and key to helping my pisces friends got a jumper overcome get a second jumper mercury retrograde okay the first one the knight of pentacles like i said we had that no fear energy that no fear energy is going to be needed throughout the whole little over three weeks the pentacles are about that grounding nurturing energy you're going to need that because things are going to kind of feel well they're going to feel really off you need that pentacles and you need that grounding to move you forward now the pent knight of pentacles is not only a knight that is full of bravery but it's also full of work whereas the other knights like to bring in the energy and the enthusiasm and the gung-ho action the knight of pentacles is a work knight and you're going to have to work at this and it lends you that energy that second piece the second jumper was the king of swords like i said before when we had the page that king of swords brings in that knowledge piece and the kings are the most fully developed personality of the suit unlike the four that is being impacted the page and king are not so impacted when you're looking at the swords the swords are about truth and knowledge now when we look at the swords when situations and events happen we as emotional beings like to attach emotion so we attach emotion to those situations and that's what kind of starts to bind us down the page and king don't have emotion in their situation they take that knowledge that pure knowledge and take it forward and the king has the most ability to do this and he's adding his energy and knowledge to your supports and that's what you need to do work from a place of knowledge rather than emotion what final information can we share with my Pisces friends? And that's the Ten of Wands. Tens are an ending and a beginning. Wands are all about that hard work. The Ten of Wands talks about working harder than you need to. It's kind of a warning. Don't work too hard at this. We need some play in here enjoy this process knowing that it's the next stage in that evolution my posse is screaming at me that i have forgotten some angel messages we have the knights which are the 12th card in the major or minor arcana and when you have double 12s in angel messages you're looking at spiritual growth and awakening we also have double tens in angel messages when you have those double tens you're looking at a time for personal development and spiritual awakening like i said before you're going to find more um, strategies and tools to connect in when you're having that challenge time all right let's look at what your shadow self wants to add and that's the three of swords I said earlier that it's we attach emotion to events and that's what's really impacting us and what bogs us down and that's exactly what the three of swords has there's going to be a lot of situations and events that happen throughout mercury retrograde that are going to cause hurt you need to take it back critically think to say okay is this a pain or a knowledge or sorry is this an emotion or a knowledge because 
When situations happen, we like to jump to the emotion, to our heart. Oh my God, I can't believe they just hurt me. Where they may just have said something and due to Mercury retrograde, we're misinterpreting the situation. Your shadow self wants to remind you to really, really check in and allow yourself that time to critically think about something before you emotionally jump in and respond. Let's look at your blessing. What blessing do we have for my Pisces friends for Mercury Retrograde? Two kittens. You must choose. You're going to have to choose how to go forward. No one can do this for you. You're looking at a lot, like you've got some, uh, the two of cups that started things off. You have a lot of decisions to make. This will not just happen. You're going to have to work through it. You're going to have to make those decisions. Now we do have double twos. We have two of cups and then two kittens. Angel messages, it says to keep the faith and don't give up. Even though it's a challenge, you need to start to listen to that intuition, finding new ways to tap into that. For those who wish, you can pause the video here and reflect on these cards. This is a group reading however I drew, or in some cases the cards jumped out, from my Pisces friends. What further information do they share? Like I said, this is a group reading. If you're looking for a more personal or specific reading, you can follow the link below and schedule a private reading with myself. For those who are interested, I will be running online interactive introductory classes on Zoom over the next couple of months. The first class is on November 11th, where I'll be running my Introduction to Angels and Archangels class. Then on December 9th, I'll be running my Introductions to Connecting, which is a channeling class. If you're interested in both or either of these classes, you can find out more information and register on my website. I provided a helpful link below to my classes page so you can go there directly to check it out. I hope you found this video fun and helpful and that you're able to gain some direction and insight into what to expect for this Mercury retrograde. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching this video. I'll continue to create dynamic and creative videos for my Zodiac friends. If you have any suggestions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. I'm always up for feedback from my friends. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest content. You never know where I'm going to go next and I'd hate for you to miss a video. Also, if you'd like this video and want to support me in making more, I have a Patreon page with many tiers and lots of perks. In some of my tiers, the perks are private readings with myself. I provided a helpful link below to that, so why not go check it out? Until tomorrow, my Pisces friends.